Hey everybody, this is Tony Day. We're going to do a continuation of the saga of working in ACES. So what I'm going to do today is show you a couple more ways that you can take your footage and put it into ACES in case the other versions or the other ways that I showed you, you don't particularly like. So I, I like it when a program or a manufacturer or whatever gives you several different options of what you can do. So these are just, you know, going to be so, some more options if you want to work in ACES. Uh, so if you've been following, and please uh, be sure to watch the previous videos so that you can actually see what we did um, before continuing, uh, we showed you how you can use this ACES CCT uh, uh, color management option. I also showed a way that you can get 10-bit files uh, transformed into a uh, color space that has an IDT for ACES. Uh, so please be sure that you watch those videos before you continue with this one so you know where we're uh, coming from. So um, I'm going to show you how in the raw tab you can choose ACEs. So if you're not aware in this raw section down here, uh, you have all these options and part of it is color space and gamma. So if you wanted to, you could go and choose ACEs AP1 and you could choose ACEs CCT and that will put you into the ACEs color space. You do need to make sure that either on your clip or wherever that you are eventually doing an ACEs transform from ACES CCT to whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh, we're going to choose Rec. 709. So this should give you, um, if you don't like using this for your RAW, you can do this too. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Could be that you, know, you don't want to affect all your footage in your project or whatever. Could be a number of reasons why you don't want to do it that way. But this should give you the exact same kind of results that you should expect. So another interesting thing about this, um, let's, uh, let's reset all these. So uh, I'm going to show you another way that you can do this using grouping. So we're going to go and switch these back to Blackmagic Design and Blackmagic Film for the color space and gamma. So I need you to use your imagination, okay? And in your imagination, you're going to um, uh, imagine that these three shots are taken with the Pocket 4K and shot in ProRes, which if you are unaware, uh, again, please make, be, make sure Again, please make sure that you're watching the previous videos so that you, you know, are primed for understanding what we're doing. Uh, we're going to pretend that these three are shot in ProRes 10-bit um, from the Pocket 4K and that these are shot uh, with the Ursa 4.6K, which uh, is from Blackmagic Design, okay? So with our previous um, trials of going through ACEs, we would know that uh, these three shots, if they were 10-bit ProRes from the Pocket 4K, do not have an IDT, but these three do have an IDT. So um, that means that these three need to be transformed differently than these three. So uh, let's say we want to do all three of these shots at the same time and get them into aces, and we want to do all three of these shots at the same time and get them into aces. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is we're going to select the first one here. We're going to hold shift to select all three of these. You can also use control click to select what you want. Okay. Then we are going to right click. We're going to add into new group. And we are going to call this uh, BMPCC 4K2 ACES. Okay. So when we did that, all three of these got grouped together into one group. And we get these selections here, group pre-clip, clip, and group post-clip. Now, this grouping is actually a very powerful way to do um, manual grading because it lets you do a lot of uh, things that you might do to like an entire group of shots. Say you do like a bunch of sharpening to everything in you know from one camera but you don't do it to another camera or you do denoising that's different on one camera versus another because the noise patterns are different we're going to do this for simply getting into aces so we're going to go into the group pre-clip the first thing we're going to do again please imagine that these are three 10-bit um, prores files that do not have an idt okay we're going to get two nodes in this first node here is going to be our color space transform this one's going to be our aces transform so we're going to throw those into their corresponding nodes. So now uh, we've got these all where they're supposed to go. We're going to make this one um, Blackmagic Pocket 4K Film Gen 4, 4K Gen 4. Uh, this one is going to go to Red Wide Gamut and Red Log 3G10. Okay. And then here we're going to have our ACES input is going to be Red wherever that is here and the output's going to be aces cct so now we've got this transform going to all of these three clips right see they're all being transformed into aces uh, cct for the timeline and then we're going to go to group post clip 
and we're going to add an ACES transform. And it's going to go from ACES CCT to whatever we want for the output, which will be Rec 709. So now, if you look here, we've got every shot that was in our group being properly um, uh, transformed into ACES workflow. So that means that when we go to clip, these nodes will only be affecting these individual clips. They will not be affecting um, these clips. So as you can see here, this is still in its log uh, color space and these have all been transformed into ACES. See? So pretty cool. Um, you can do this for a lot of things. If you're not aware of grouping, I think it's a pretty great way to do it. So we're going to give these a different group. Uh, we're going to add these into a new group. This is going to be Ursa 4.6K to ACES. Okay, so now these three are in a group and we go to group uh, pre-clip. We're going to throw an ACES transform in here. This one has an IDT. It actually has two. It has 4.6K film and 4.6K film V3. So we're going to choose V3 and then we're going to go to ACES CCT to get into that color space. And then in the post clip, we are going to use an ACES transform. We're going to go from CCT to Rec 709. And now you can see that each of our shots are now uh, transformed into ACEs. So everything now is working in an ACEs color space. And each of these, again, pretend that these are 10 bit, okay, pretend that these are 10 bit um, files and not raw. Uh, each of these now are being uh, put into the ACEs uh, workflow. Um, without us having to use the tab or having to use any other means. And you can do a big group of shots this way. Uh, if you don't know how the group functionality really works, uh, it's actually a very powerful tool. Uh, just to show an example, usually with uh, anything that I'm gonna grade, I'll have some kind of denoise uh, just and uh, sharpening at the end. It's just what I usually do. So for example, if, if we wanted to denoise these three shots in one way, we just add, you know, uh, go over here, denoise, we'll do a 2 and a 15. And that'll have one kind of denoising that will affect all three of these clips. And the cool thing is if this bogs down your uh, machine, you can turn off the denoising until you go to render. See? So, you know, it won't bog down your machine if you have a problem with that. And then you turn it back on for these uh, when you're ready to render. So same thing with these, let's say these are clean and don't need any denoising whatsoever, you're not affecting these clips with a denoise, okay? So the reason why this is kind of important um, is because timeline, let's say you're, you, you know, you've got timeline here, a lot of people might do some output stuff in timeline, but this would affect all of the clips in this timeline regardless of the group. So, you know, it's just another way that you can customize your workflow within uh, DaVinci Resolve for something like ACES or whatever else you might want to do. So um, there, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is just two more ways that you can get your work into ACES uh, and again, customize your experience um, based on how you want to do your workflow. I'm not going to tell you which way is better or worse than any other one, um, but uh, as you can see, it does get us uh, what we need. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this again. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below and uh, thanks for watching.